Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, first and foremost, let me apologise for not getting back onto Project C1 any sooner. Uh, I've had things going on, uh, I've had to do stuff to Rachel's gets, uh, I've had things going on in my own car, that sort of thing. Hey, you, life, it happens. Um, but we're back on it. Kinda. Um, what I intend to do today is use some of the spare interior that I've got from my C1 and turn the driver's seat into an office chair. Uh, never done anything like this before. I figured it might be, you know, something good to do rather than just binning it. So let's see what we can do. So to paraphrase one of my favourite films, we're going to make this fit onto the bottom of this using nothing but that. All right then. So I'm going to take you around the seat a little bit because I have cheated a little bit. I've kind of already started. First and foremost, what I've done. Is I've taken out the airbag. Uh, I had to fabricate a bracket because the airbag is actually the bracket, so uh, I've had to do a bit of that. Uh, I have also, as you can see, I've taken off the seat belt bracket. That was just a, I think it was a 14 mil bolt, something like that. Um, I have plans for that in the future. I'm going to make a, a keyring, I think. Uh, and finally, I've already made a start on removing all the electrics and all that sort of good stuff that we don't really need. Because um, the reason why I'm using this anyway is because all the electrics at the bottom were knackered. I broke a plug. Uh, so rather than trying to replace or repair the plug, it's just easier to have a go at this. So, right, let's make a chair. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the distance between these holes that are already on. And what I intend to do then is to get some of the iron I've got up there and make a bar runs across in two places, drill some holes through that and then literally just bolt the two together. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what I've decided to do here is uh, in order to get the, the seat base in the centre of gravity we've got an existing hole just here these are one of the mounting brackets for the original mounting of the seat so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that as the rear and then I'm going to measure 180mm down and drill another hole there and that should be sufficient for the cross members Okay, so what that's got me now, we've got the hole, we've got a line down there, and we've got the X marks the spot. I'll show you in close up now. Okay, so what we have here now, we've got the hole that we're going to use at the top, we've got 180 mil down, we've squared it off, and that gives us X marks the spot. So we'll drill that, and then we'll cut the metal cross beam to length, and uh, we'll see if we can get this all bolted up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the gap between these two points. I'm going to transpose that onto my cross beam. We'll mark it up and we'll cut it out. Don't forget your glasses. <laughs> So we've cut the cross beams, now we've got a few rough ends, um, not entirely even, but I'm not massively bothered about that because I intend to use either a bit of plate or a little bit of bar that I've got lying about that kind of fits, um, just to plug up the ends. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to file all the burrs off these, uh, I'm going to level it as much as I can, uh, mark out and cut the metal that I need to weld onto the end. I'm going to need some help with that one, um, so this may be a two-part video. 
uh, and then drill some holes, bolt it all up, see if it works. If it does, we'll then dismantle it. We'll give them a lick of paint, let them dry and cure. Um, might even give it a polish if I feel so inclined. Uh, and then, um, yeah, stick it all together and uh, I'll sit on it and see if, uh, see if my fat ass breaks it. <laughs> so we've got the old bastard file. I always feel naughty saying that, but bastard file. Uh, and a half moon shape. I swear to God, Sean, if you're watching this, filing is not fun, okay? <laughs> um, then we're gonna just see if we can get this in there using, probably have to use two different files and then uh, just file the burrs off. So let's get on with it. At this point, by the way, I'd like to highlight that I don't have a vice, so don't mention it in the comments. I already know I'd love a vice, but I don't have one. So if anyone's watching and wants to give me a vice, any companies, anything like that, then feel free. That'd be handy. In the meantime, I'll just file by hand, you know, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> There we go, those are sufficiently flat. They're not amazing, but hey, they'll do. It's a quick and dirty DIY project. Let's, uh, let's give it a drill, see what happens. Okay, so that's the pilot holes drilled on both ends. I'm gonna drill the other one. I'll do that off camera. Uh, and then uh, we'll drill some bigger holes, make sure we get the bolts through. given up. Now it's time to break out the big guns. <laughs> Light work. Well, I've been having a bit of an issue. So I've come up to my mate Kane's house and he's gonna do some welding for me because I can't weld. So, yeah, let's uh, show you that bit. Right, so you've just seen me at Cane's. Uh, we've welded the base of that together. Um, now it's time to unbolt it all, grind off some of the weld, paint it all up, wait for the paint to dry, bolt it back together again, and we'll have a look at the finished product. In the meantime, I'm actually sat on it at the moment. It's uh, not a bad looking bit of kit, to be honest, but let's get it all apart and paint it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do now is grind some of those welds back. And what I'm going to do now, 13mm, I'm going to unbolt it.
didn't go as planned. And just like that, voila. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is remove these two here because these two we ended up welding on because uh, there was a little bit of a mathematical error with the holes. So we ended up just giving up and going, meh, weld it. So yeah, that's not coming off, <laughs> but they will. So let's get those off. Okay, so now we're down into individual components. Let's get them painted. Uh, I do have some satin black left over from when I did a project on my Volvo. Even no, That was during lockdown before I even started the channel. So uh, I've got paint left over. So rather than going out and buying stuff, let's just use that. So the paint I'm using for this, we're using a, an acid etch primer by Autotech Professional. Uh, I've used this stuff before. It's, it's pretty good actually. Um, it just saves me having to rough up the surface and all that. Uh, and Simony's Satin Black Tough Paint. Uh, this stuff I've used on the front of the Volvo. Uh, I actually use it on plastic actually, but uh, it's really, really good paint. Covers well, um, looks good once it's done. Uh, I've even got some satin lacquer somewhere, but I think that might be a little bit overkill. So yeah, let's get these uh, all painted up. Once they dry, we'll bolt it all back together. I'll show you the finished product. Right, so what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm going to give it a clean, some brake cleaner, just to get all the wax and grease and sort of stuff off it. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a, hey, let's see what we can do sort of thing. Um, this isn't exactly a show piece or anything, so um, yeah, let's give it a quick wipe and then we'll get them painted. Same goes for this bar as well. I mean, I realise you can't see me actually doing this all that well, but just a quick clean to get any contaminants off the surface before we go ahead and paint them. Okay, so if there's anybody that was wondering, uh, while that's drying, I'll talk you through these. Uh, I'm actually using M8 by 50mm, or 1.5mm thread, a couple of washers, and a nylock nut. Now, I'm using nylock because I don't really want to open this up again, so I figured if we use nylock, that'll hold itself rather than having to weld the whole lot, you know, with it being a, a positive friction locking nut. So, yeah, let's get back to the painting. Okay, so as you can see, We've had a change of plan. Uh, I've hung one up, um, a little piece of string, just from the, the wooden fencing up there, and uh, let's get some black paint on it. Okay, so they're all painted. Um, as you can see there, they are drying in the background. Uh, as soon as they're dry, we'll get back to bolting it all up and then uh, we'll sit on it.
Okay, so all the paintwork is dry ish. It'll do. Um, now it's time to rebuild it. It'd help if you put the washers on. That's better. <laughs> also help. Keep all your nuts. I'm really not having a good time here. <laughs> I'm dropping these all over the place. Finally, it's on. As you can see, it's starting to get a bit dark now, so I've had to put some lighting on. I apologise for that. It's, uh, it's been a long day. So, um, last two knots to do. Let's get them on. There we go, that's the last one on. Let's put it on the floor, check for correct operation, and let's do what the fun said and sit on it. Okay, so here we have it. We have one times Citroen C1 driver's chair as an office chair. Check that out. I will clean up all that, but that's, that's a problem for future Dave. But in the meantime, I really quite like that. I mean, what, what we've done, I mean, it looks a bit over-engineered for what it is, but hey, I like it. Let's sit on it and see what happens. I'll tell you what, this is comfy, this. For an office chair, this is really good. It even reclines and everything. It's, uh, it does its thing. Really good. I like it. Uh, I hope you liked it too, really. So, uh, you know the drill by now. You've probably heard it in a million YouTube channels. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. It really does go far towards helping a small channel like mine. Uh, in the meantime, I will see you in the next video.